Hey folks, this is Chess Now, episode 74. Today is October the 7th, 2010. I'm going to be playing a game here with uh, Tony Norris and uh, going to be putting the, the moves into a computer so you can follow along at home. Okay, Tony, good luck. Me too. Smart new chess game. Okay. All right. E4 has been played. What is your first move? D6. D6. E6. D4. E4. G6. G6. Knight to F3. Knight to F3. Bishop to G7. Can you hear me? Okay, here we go. Bishop to C4. Doesn't make me a space here, so I'm moving the camera in. I know, but I gotta get closer to it, and I gotta help my dog. Knight to F6. Oh, yeah, no, I'm gonna move the spy camera. Oh, so you want me to move the spy camera next? So what should uh, okay. we talk about? So now I'm moving, I'm moving uh, okay. the thing. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Uh, I think he just wants us to play a serious game without me. Oh, okay. Clock. Counterclockwise. Here we go. Turn. <sighs> Sorry. Extreme. Let me see how to input this. I'm going to guess. Inside castle. Oh, you want me to pull the shot back? You want me to pull the shot back? I do it. Yes, you wish. Knight to C3. Knight to C3. C6. A4. Bishop to G4. H three. Exchange with F3. Queen to F3. I've heard this song before. Yes, it's a popular song. It haunts my dreams. Knight 
thy people be saved. how much time we have. Lester, how much time do we each have? Um, it's actually in the computer, but I can't get to it. Uh, I'd say four minutes per side. Oh, wonderful. He'll know when our flag falls. If it yes. falls. Five. Five. A five. the last move the castle? That's correct, yep. All right, so white has four minutes, 10 seconds left. Black has four minutes, six seconds. Okay. Neck and neck. Nine, three, seven. Nine 
like to be saved. He says. Deficits. Nine fifty five. We have about a minute and a half left each. Okay. Can you beat that? White has like 15 more seconds to go out. We need to beat them. Nine 
night to see six. Night to see six. Bishop to C6. Rook to A7. B4. Queen to C8. Hit puddle to police high again. Queen to change for C5. Exchange with C5. It will do for the time again. Wait, time! It will do for the time again. What is the, uh, the move you're doing? Just go slow. Bishop, Bishop B7. B7. Bishop to D7. Now take it. You have to pause the question. Bishop's change with D7. Okay. We to D7. Knight to D5. Hit puddle to police try again. See exchange with D5. Bishop to A1. Exchange with A1. Queen to D5. Guys, just save this position here. And we're going to watch um, a four minute clip from Central Park. And tell them comment on it. And maybe you can finish this game after that. Okay. Okay, it's up now. This was um, this past Saturday, Central Park. You want to describe the tournament, or you want me to? Um, you can talk a little bit about it, how you found out about it. Okay. Uh, I don't really remember how I originally found out about it. It was, uh, oh, this is my game here. Because um, I first played it in the second one back in 2001, I think. Here I'm playing, uh, my opponent was only about 1,600, but... I won a pawn early on, but I was under a lot of pressure. 
you know, this isn't my finest moment. I was hoping to uh, make a good impression in this game, but actually I got a little intimidated and uh, under time pressure here, and I can't see the position that clearly um, on the small screen, but yeah, he, he moved in. It was, uh, you know, it's really tricky when there's just queens and rooks on the board, especially when your king's the one that's more exposed. And actually, I think I had a tiny bit more time at this point. It was about equal. But, uh, Keep talking. There we go. Does that sound better? Yes. Anyways, um, yeah, it's, it's a game 10 tournament in Central Park, which is pretty fast. Most of the games I played were decided by blunders, which is kind of the way it is with game 10, except maybe at the very highest level. Um, and this, this particular game is pretty even. I could try to recreate it later for Lester, and maybe he could uh, po pay some of the moves. I, I definitely don't remember the full game. But, yeah, see here, yeah, I'm, I'm getting in a lot of trouble in this game, I can tell. And he's just putting the pressure on and I don't have a lot of counterplay. I'm kind of on the defensive which is not usually how, how you want to be because it increases your chance of making a mistake and I was basically just trying to hold and now he's moving his king in. Again I can't really see this total clarity nor do I remember it um, in total clarity but it's definitely a uh, motivation to study my end games a little more and it's funny usually I, I perform pretty well under under pressure but in this case not so much so you can see by my hands I'm, I'm hesitating I'm not, uh, I'm not at my finest here so you just this offensive move there can't even see it but even without the volume without anything you can kind of tell What's going on? Well, yeah, that's where I resigned, I guess. Ended up going three and three in that tournament, which was pretty poor performance considering mostly I was playing down. The second round, I actually played the top seeded players, twenty three hundred, and I actually gave them a pretty good game. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful place to have a tournament. Beautiful day, actually a little bit too hot for my taste, but but it was fun. I actually swore off playing speed chess except on the show after that, but. You know, I like to think I'm a man of my word, and I usually am, even with my commitments to myself, but, you know, that, that one was a hard addiction to break. It went the way of many people's New Year's There's resolutions. There's like a minute or two left here. I mean, okay. your, your clock's ran down, but you could keep punching in the mood. Sorry. Okay. D5. Queen to D6. 
squeeze you need one. Big puddle is the police trying again. Interesting accent that this guy. Yeah, he seems to be able to change it up every day. Yeah, it's like a. It's different. That part was kind of. A little Irish, maybe. Oh. 